So yes, I've been asked by a lot of people, what's it like to watch a Terminator 2 Judgment Day on a big, giant, 188-inch screen? Well, my camera here is having a hard time capturing this because it's really big. And I'm seven and a half, actually I'm eight feet away. You see my shadow, but I'm eight feet away and still with eight feet, I'm having a hard time capturing just how big this thing is and how beautiful it looks. This is, believe it or not, from Apple 4K TV. I could have played this via my Oppo 4K Blu-ray disc to show you just how beautiful it looks, but I purposely wanted to use Apple 4K TV just to show you how beautiful the stream is from Apple 4K TV. And in my opinion, Apple 4K TV has the best possible stream for 4k i'm gonna go through some of the stills here i'm gonna show you some stills uh okay i'm gonna try to move back uh, a little bit further more 12 feet away on this room i'm in okay so now i am 10 feet away from the screen this is the wide screen this is when it fills up the entire wide screen that you know those black bars you don't barely even see them anymore because they're filling in the screen uh, so this right here is that cinema theater experience you want. And this is 188 inch. Now, if I go to 133, then this is going to shrink a little bit. So 133 inch, uh, you're going to lose this much and then lose that much. Okay, so... Remember, when they're measuring the screen, they're measuring it diagonal, this way, okay? That's how it's being measured, diagonally like that. That's how they measure the screen from each corner, from top left corner to the top bottom right corner, okay? Let me show you some more scenes. By the way, this is in native 4K and HDR, what you're seeing here, and this movie to me looks best way experienced on a big giant screen as it should be and I think this new transfer that uh, they did on this movie from Lionsgate I think they did an excellent job in my opinion here let me show you some more I wish I could play this movie you know I wish I could play it just to show you how it looks but uh, I can't I can't do that Okay, let me walk up to the screen a little bit more so you guys can see uh, why bigger screen it's important for 8.3 million pixels. Now, it would be nearly impossible for you to see the focus and detail on this truck with 55 inch or 65 inch screen even 75 inch screen maybe with 88 inch and 80 inch you'll definitely start to notice a little bit of that pixel detail but once you go up to 188 inch you truly get to appreciate every and each pixel because what this projector it's doing it's it's shifting it's using a 4k shifter a pixel shifter i'm sorry pixel shifter that shifts every and each pixel on this movie so 8.3 million pixels here you get to see everything hell you can even see the reflection here on that grill all right road ranger towing there you go so if you're like interested in buying a uh, projector uh, 4k projector I think BenQ will definitely get your feet wet uh, with a really nice detail okay but remember you will need a extra space in your room to achieve 188 inches the maximum is 300 but honestly to me I don't think you should go any more than 200 I think 200 inches for a home use it's more than enough it's gonna give you a nice cinematic experience you know and look even here uh 
this is L.A. River. This is what Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, was writing that Harley Davidson. And even here, you see, even in the fast moving pictures, the focus, it's sharp. Uh, everything looks nicely detailed. And I'm still trying to figure out what are the complaints? Like, why are people complaining about this uh, transfer? I can't find anything wrong with this transfer. Considering just how old this movie is. And this is Apple 4K. This is Apple 4K TV. And look at the bitrate transfer here. And of course, this is Eddie Edward Furlong. This is back in the days when he was, you know, a young kid. That just shows you how old this movie is. And uh, he looks perfect on the uh, this transfer. Like I said, I'm trying to find something wrong with this transfer, and I can't. And I don't know why people are complaining about this movie. I don't know where all the, the complaints and hate came from. This is an excellent transfer for such an old movie, and it's the best transfer you're going to find for Terminator 2. I meant to say the best transfer you're going to find at the moment. All right? That's what I meant by that. So anyway, this is a short video. Uh, I've done a bunch of videos today. I've done live streams. I'm back with the live streams. I've done a bunch of videos yesterday. So there's plenty of stuff for you to watch. Uh, look, I'm going to make this video short. Go ahead, pick up this bank queue, this projector. If you love movies, this is it. If you love video games, this is it. If you want to watch your sports, your concerts, this is it. I'm letting you know this in advance in case you can't wait for me to do an official review. When I do an official review, I will cover all the bases. It will be a very long video, probably half an hour to maybe 40 minutes. I'm going to cover every single aspect of this uh, projector and you will see why BenQ, in my opinion, is the best choice to go and the, most, the best affordable choice to go with. All right, You're not going to find nothing cheaper than this. And then I forgot to mention, it supports 3D on top of all of that. All right, well, there you have it, guys. Hopefully you liked this video. So that's it. Take care. I'll see you later. Have a nice Monday. Take care.